Morning all everyone, this is episode four of my 2022 Brazil series. I survived the favela in the last video, but today we're heading somewhere completely different. We're heading to Batman Alley. What? Let's get going. <laughs> Happy Saturday, I'm at Luz Station, right in the center of San Paolo. I've got another four minutes to wait. Next station, Republica. So Pineros Station is like five sets of escalators to get to the top, it's crazy. Pau Giguejo down there. And here we are, Pinedos. Right, good morning everyone. I just remembered I'm meant to be on camera at some point in this video, I always forget that bit. Welcome to Pinedos, it's Saturday. It's a little bit hot today actually. The first time that it hasn't been pouring with rain and we're gonna be a little bit more safe in this video, I hope, unlike the last one in Paraisopolis. So Pinedos is said to be the oldest area or oldest neighborhood of San Paolo. It's quite bohemian supposedly along with Villa Madalena. We're going to be checking out some street art in a little bit but I mentioned some food in the metro station and as you can see behind me there's a place that sells it. I wasn't going to have it in this video but why not? Oh, bom dia. Uh, eu quero a uh, mini pad de queijo, por favor. Uh, yes. They're like little small ones. Some of the other stuff these street stalls do. Lots of bready pastry items. Okay, obrigado. Yeah, that was good. $1.99 for 10 of them. Mini Pau de Queijo. So along with Coxinha Pau de Queijo. I must remember my D sounds in Portuguese as well. It, it's just like a little soft bready cheese thing. Um, I don't know if this is going to be amazing, but it is kind of like, you know, staple street food in Brazil. Oh, it's soft and fluffy. Not very cheesy, but I think there are other ones you can get with that like, actual cheese filling. So we'll have that more in another video, I think. Well, yeah, they're good. They fill me up for the day. There's, ten, there's loads of them. It looks like more than 10. These are very addictive as per the rest of Brazilian food. We're having something else later in this video, which I had the other day. And I thought I've got to put this in a video. It's Kind of similar in terms of size, but it's very much a sweet option. Stay tuned for that. Just from walking from Pinheiros metro station, Pinheiros definitely feels slightly more residential, I guess I would say. And it's definitely less sketchy, or it has doesn't have that sketchy feel that, say, Centro has. I really like all the um, colorful houses down here. Like you've got this lovely sort of metallic purple. It might not look like that on camera, but it is. And there's a nice little house up there that's got a nice little front garden and it's all very um, quaint. Okay, I've got to go up that way, but first I've just spotted a market. You know what, it kind of feels like, weirdly, like Camden in London, like, because you've got street art and you've got markets and, you know, street food, things like that. Let's check it out. Oh, fishy. See what I mean about street art? It's just everywhere. Got fresh fruit and veg everywhere this would be the sort of place i'd come to if i wanted to do a cooking with david video like i did way back in 2018 i love the smell of fresh chilies and green veg even though i don't really like vegetables aubergine yep not eggplant uh, i'm taking the piss i love how you kind of have to look at this street art in a bit of detail to understand what's going on there's an octopus in the sea, drinking beer, but not just any old octopus, DJ Octopus. 
It's bonkers. You've even got whole buildings daubed in extravagant detailed street art, but what we're looking for is behind us. It's Batman Alley. <laughs> This is absolutely orgasmic. That lovely lady there, she's selling hats and things um, and appreciates contributions. <laughs> I think that's what she said. But look at this. I'm kind of going uh, inspired by the screen movies with my camera angles right now. Love it. <laughs> but look at this, it's just so colorful. It's so cool. And I just heard some English speakers for the first time since I've been in Brazil. So it's clearly a touristy area. I love this. Look at it. It's an explosion of colour. This artwork is so intricate and detailed. I've got a lot of respect for artists, particularly street artists, because I am terrible at art. I can barely draw a stick man. I have an English student who is an artist and I'm consistently blown away by her talent and ability. And this is very much the same, you know, particularly, you know, doing it on the street must take an extra level of talent and ability. Well, I'm right up against the wall, so you have to bear with me. So, Beko de Batman, Batman Alley. It comes from, obviously, this. We got Batman in Gotham City. I think it was painted in 1980, I think. And like a lot of places like this with a lot of street art, you know, someone starts doing something in a place and it becomes very popular with local young artists. And clearly it's continued into this awesome, I'm gonna say attraction, because it kind of is very touristy, but also of course it very much represents local youth in the area and um, you know, how street art is used very much as like a means of uh, highlighting culture in a place. That's so cool, look at it. <laughs> Let's take a real close look at the Batman one on the wall, Daily Gotham. Gotham City with the bat signal up the top there, right at the top of the screen with Batman in the middle standing on, I guess on a ledge on the edge of a building with the cityscape behind him. This place is very Instagrammable. You know, if I was 20 years younger, female, had big tits, and I was on TikTok, this would be the ideal location to come for a sexy Instagram shoot. <sighs> See, that was humor. There hasn't been much humor in these videos this year. Well, don't worry, Humorous David is back, as of now. First we had the DJ Octopus, now we have the astronaut chimpanzee, Mikasa Sukasa. My home is your home. I do feel like that here. You know, there's a much more lively, welcoming, happy feeling in comparison to other areas I've been in Sao Paulo so far. This is a positive. Look at that VW van. That guy is selling uh, music, like old uh, records, Brazilian music, Bossa Nova, things like that. I love that. I would love to ride around Brazil in one of those colorful vans there's even, you know who, Frida Kahlo, art icon. Okay, cheers everyone. That was amazing. Let's head to our next spot after I've downed my favorite addiction of the year so far. <laughs> Actually, before we move on to the next spot, I just filmed the next video after this. So I did like an accompanying video, 10 minutes walking around the area without any speaking. And I came across this. This was at the end of that video. I'll just wait for these ladies to take their photos, but it's like some arty steps going all the way up. It reminds me of when I was in Rio in Lapa, those famous colorful steps. Obviously these are a bit different. Okay, it seems I'm following them up. They're doing a bit of a, you know, gallery thing. And can you believe it? There's another octopus. What it, is it with octopuses, octopi? Harry dog. By the way, I've never seen Harry Potter, Wigglypuff, Gryffindor, I haven't got a clue what all that means. <laughs> Look at this butterfly, that is so cool. It's like each part of it painted on each step. So if you go down here or look at it from a distance, you can see the full butterfly. Okay, 
I've left that area, the Bohemian area. What does Bohemian even mean? Is it about being eclectic, eccentric, expressing yourself? The three E's, see what I did there? Yes, I think that is the case. And I think it very much goes along with what I said in one of the other videos about diversity and San Paolo being a kind of accepting place. You know, there are people with crazy blue hair and green hair and, you know, just being themselves. There's a lot of countries in the world where that kind of is seen as weird or seen as not accepted. Um, where we're going is for some chocolate. Um, if you're Brazilian, you probably know what I'm gonna have. Yum! Consolação and Centro are that way. I think the place I'm looking for is up here. Praise be to the beautiful angels. Brigadero, Doceria and Cafe is open and there's an outside area. Okay, let's do the hand stuff. Oh. Okay. Oh, so Eu quero uh, uma Nutella, brigadeiro, por favor. E uma brigadeiro uh, meio amargo. Um, uh, para aqui, sim. Sí. Ok. Ooh, okay. Oh. So there's no music, but I wanted to come outside anyway. Al fresco dining in São Paulo. Um, we have two brigadeiro, brigadeiro. Um, I've learned from my mistakes. The other day I got about eight of them, plus a little pot of brigadeiros G which is like a little pot um, with a spoon. It's just like a little chocolate pot. I'll put some pictures over the top of what I had the other day and you will understand why I only have two now. Okay, I'm around this way now for some reason. This is take number 773 because I just got interrupted by a little child. He was really sweet. And then I met Kathleen, this wonderful photographer lady. Hi, Kathleen. Anyway, brigadeiros. As you can probably imagine, that word in English is brigadier, i.e. the senior military rank. And in 1946, Brigadero Eduardo Gomez wanted to become president of Brazil. And there was someone in Rio who wanted to support him in that. Therefore, produced these pieces of beautiful chocolate amazingness. I don't believe he was successful, but whatever. Because now these are common not only in Sao Paulo, but also across Brazil. They're made from condensed milk, cocoa, and sugar. And they are absolute beautiful angels with chocolate on. More specifically, they have hundreds and thousands on, or as Americans call them, Sprinkles! Um, yeah, I've oh got my back. If I wasn't addicted to chocolate already, I am now. One is Nutella. I can't remember what the other one is though. Um, but there are many, many varieties. So there's soft. Just look at that. Soft and creamy. This isn't just any old chocolate, trust me. Heaven. It's so soft and creamy. You can really sort of taste that condensed milk aspect mmm and they're very filling so don't do what I did the other day and get about seven million of them and as I said that little pot the uh, Brigadero G Collier is spectacular again it's very small but ridiculously filling I'm sure the calories will not do much for my waistline so that place was lovely awesome I'll put the details down in the description below if I remember I can't speak now with that chocolate um, but there are millions of places all around São Paulo to get brigadeiros so you won't have trouble finding them a bit like with Cochinha they're everywhere okay off we go back to the Estação back to Luz station as I said at the beginning I've got to say I love Pinheiros it's so me Okay, I'm out of the station. For the last part of this video, I wanted to check out Luz train station um, because it's got an interesting history. You can see a big clock tower up there. It was actually built in Scotland, in Glasgow, and it was disassembled in Glasgow, sent to Brazil, and reassembled. And it's very much kind of a remnant of the glory days of coffee, you know? Um, it was very much the iconic, central, hub really of Sao Paulo back in the day. Nowadays, I've got to admit it's a sketchy area, uh, I've got to be a bit careful around here to be honest with you. You know there's guys going through bins, guys looking at me filming but whatever. Um, let's check it out, let's go inside. Oh wow! Oh this is so cool, it does very much feel like an English or UK train station, it feels like 
Liverpool Street or Waterloo, you know, with that kind of shape up there and the bridges over the top, the platform in the middle. Train geeks will probably have an orgasm by seeing this. Um, obviously, you know, a, a station like this built in the UK, hello colonialism, um, you know, as well as the whole Portuguese aspect, of course, we've touched on many British aspects in Brazil as well. And there's a reason I'm here, because the next video is very much connected to the UK. It is incredibly odd, this station, slap bang in the middle of Sao Paulo. It kind of very much feels out of place, if you know what I mean. It is like I've kind of been transported to Harry Potter land, not Harry Dogland from earlier. Uh, that was funny. Um, it almost feels like, you know, there's that nine and, what is it called? Nine and a half? Nine and a quarter? I don't know. Um, that platform thing where you go through the wall um, to Harry Potter land, Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a great um, cavernous train station, which, um, you know, it doesn't feel Brazilian, if you know what I mean. What is Brazilian? That is the question. The entrance area, as you can see, it's quite posh with these pillars, the big chandelier kind of thing up the top. And again, it's, it's cavernous. You've got this uh, interesting floor design down there. It's just a shame it's kind of located in an area that is now not so desirable. Uh, Krakalandia is um, around the corner. More on that in a second. So we're ending this video in Parque de Luz. It's next to the train station. And I mentioned Krakalandia. You can probably guess from the name of that around what goes on there. There are a lot of people living there addicted to crack, basically. And I've read some interesting stories, particularly about a woman who came to Sao Paulo for you know greater opportunities, things like that, in a, in a bigger city. She wanted to be a model and she's absolutely beautiful. But for whatever reason, she's ended up living there on crack. I'm not being judgmental at all because the area I'm living in central is is very much like that it's some, something I see every day those sorts of people and it would be very hypocritical of me to judge because you know for those of you that have followed me for a long time you might be aware of this I have always said that I left the UK six years ago to travel or to quit the life expected of me but that was a lie I left the UK six years ago because I was effectively a high functioning cocaine addict for seven years so I'm talking from some experience. I'm not saying that someone from that area is in the same position that I, that I was, because clearly not. I was in a position where I could leave and could effectively save my life by getting out of that situation, but not everyone has that luxury. And, you know, I'm well of the view that addiction is not a choice. It's a disease. You know, there is the, the physical habit that you have, and that's something that I have overcame effectively you know i i have that ability to say no i'm not going to do it um but the psychological habit is always there it's always up there if there was cocaine in front of me right now would i do it yes without a doubt there is no question that i would do it but i'm lucky that i was in a position that i could get out of that by leaving that might be the you know the coward's way out of running away but it worked for me um, you know so what I'm saying is basically I'm not trying to be preachy about you know like an after-school special in the 1990s about just say no was it the 80s um, what I'm saying is that if you come to a place like Sao Paulo and particularly areas like this around the train station you know don't look at these people as if they're the scum of the earth because a drug addict is not the scum of the earth of course some people are but on the whole they're not they're just regular people like the woman i mentioned who wants to be a model and came to this city for great opportunities that's all she wanted but for whatever reason that's the position she ended up in um so that's that i don't mean to leave this on a somber note it was quite a funny video <laughs> but it's something i wanted to cover so thanks for watching um next up we are going to another place involving trains that's becoming a common theme throughout these videos right but this one is epic um i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe like let me know your thoughts on 
there's what I've just talked about. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.